Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in 2021, I posted a video that Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 could be updated to Windows 11 for free. And as I did mention um, back then in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, this was because um, based on configuration keys, um, those were found in the product key configuration package in Windows 11, which meant that if you were wanting to upgrade, uh, if uh, your machine did support the hardware requirements of Windows 11, you could upgrade using your Windows 7 and 8, 8.1 product keys. Now, just to let you know, and just a quick heads up once again, that if you um, have been and are using those product keys to upgrade to Windows 11, that something Microsoft did a couple of days ago, around about the 20th of September, they have, um, under the radar, so-called, ended their support for free upgrades from Windows 7 and 8 to Windows 10 or Windows 11. And um, this offer was originally set to expire in July 2016, but they kept it around for a couple of years. And the installation path now for this free upgrade has now been removed. So I'm just giving you a quick heads up. And if we head over to that announcement, here we can see Windows ends installation path for free Windows 7, 8 upgrade. As mentioned, um, this announcement was made around about the 20th. And Microsoft says in this paragraph, Microsoft's free upgrade offer for Windows 10 11 ended 29 July 2016. The installation path to obtain the Windows 7 8 free upgrade is now removed as well. As mentioned, I posted on that back in 2021. Upgrades to Windows 11 from Windows 10 are still free, obviously, um, if your device, device supports the relevant hardware for those OSs, especially Windows 11. So um, those free upgrades now from Windows 7 and 8 have now been removed, just letting you know. And then, as they say uh, um, in this paragraph, to upgrade to Windows 11, devices must meet the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. Some Windows 10 features aren't available in Windows 11, and some requirements to experience some Windows 11 features and apps will exceed the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. And I'll leave this page down below. You can click on this link, which will give you those requirements. But uh, just to let you know that that free upgrade path now has been removed and I think a lot of people will be a little bit disappointed with that move by Microsoft but nonetheless um, that is now the case and just wanted to uh, keep you in the loop so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one